What's going on YouTube? I am back. So last time we left off, um, it's been about a week. I think I had, uh, my class just started last week, so I didn't really have the time to sit down and record or anything because I wanted to make sure I was ahead in classes because they're all online and normally I suck at online classes. So anyway, um, last episode we took Suduri, I believe, and uh, we didn't really take that many losses. And I think there's another settlement over here. Yeah, over here there's another one. Uh, we took Dole's, or, or Dolvorn we have. We have this guy here just whittling down the enemy over here. Um, I think I might just send him back from that, because yes, he's really no. not accomplishing much at all. <laughs> I mean, he's hurting like 30 of them a turn, you know. I might just have to just wait for Bree to come over here and whittle that down. So I think I might just make him break off the siege now. Because him with just the many men that, as many men as he have is not going to be able to... He, I think he'll even move next turn. But him with just the 64 men, he's not going to be able to do much of this. It's a waste of time, and I really want to take uh, Buzra Doom so we can gain a lot of income. That will uh, be, uh, make us be able to afford a lot of units. Also, I'm going to train a unit here, because I'm pretty sure that Dunland are going to attack us. So I'm going to go ahead and train up a unit. Uh, the clansmen are not good. I feel like the archers would be better than anything, because that guy's unit could probably hold the line against whatever, whatever kind of crap they send our way. Um, what's our income looking like? I didn't even look at that. It's it's decent. Uh, we're getting a market there. This place I'm worried about Isengard. I think I should be worried about more Isengard than I should Dunlin. Dunlin we compete well against. Dunlin we can play against well. Bree we can kind of compete against. Um, it's really just Isengard that I'm scared of. Maybe the Northern Duna name, but normally they're focused on... Uh, was that Arnor up north or something? No, it's not Arnor. It's, uh... I don't freaking remember what it's called. The, the evil people up north. I can't remember the name off the top of my head right now. So I think it was an end turn. I want to go ahead and end the turn right now. Sorry about that. Just gonna try to keep tab on the time. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I think I might soon release like a spreadsheet kind of thing for my plans for this later in this year. Um, it's going to be go slow going forward for the next couple of months or so, just because I'm going to be focused mainly on class. But I think I might put out a video that's going to be me explaining the direction. Angmar, that's what they're called. But I just want to put a video out on the, the direction. I want to put this channel and the idea I have because I have several ideas in my head and two of them aren't exactly just straight up history. The other one is, it's about games, but it's not me playing a game. But neither of them are me playing a game. So, um, yeah, cause I really wanna work on my editing skills and I think putting those videos out would be a good skill. Wow, they actually pulled back. I did not expect that. And there's also some, I think I might put a, I think I might start a series on Ark when the Crystal Isles DLC launches. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes. Um, so I want to do that. Maybe I should make him make some towers. Actually, because I can't see anything tomorrow. over here. Yeah, there's, there's Ark. I got Lost Oasis or the Last Oasis or whatever. I also want to do that. I'll go up here. Build the uh, carpenter's hut here. That's right. We should move these guys out. Your orders, my lord. Any clansmen or anything? No. Let's send these guys over. By your command, they won't get attacked by anything. River spearmen, axemen. That's fine. I think yes, I'll leave. Uh. I don't want to leave the archers because I need the archers. Uh, let's just leave the archers, I think, because I think one of these guys is an archer or something. No, I don't think they are actually. Whatever. My lord. Your will, my lord. Do they like me if I leave? Will, they lord. do just enough. That's awesome. Let's start heading to that town over there. We need to gobble up as yes. much territory as we can. Yes, my lord. Faction here, faction leader. We are a. Oh, we're Teutonic. Maybe we shouldn't have them in the same yes, my army. Lord. Actually, I just thought about that. Switch them out. Maybe I'll switch them out with 
this guy or something. Lord of my lord. Yes, my lord. So I don't think, I don't think. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to split them up. As good as they are, Lord I might have to split them up. I don't know. I'm not really worried right now fighting rebels. It's when I fight against Isengard and stuff that I'll probably have to split them up. But it looks like another end turn. I'm just ignoring Londaire for now. I don't have the troops to deal with that. Once we take us to the regions and gain more, uh, gain more gold, I'll worry about that. But I'm not worried about that right now. Try to get a battle in this episode. And hopefully all goes well. I didn't really address the crashes at all. I'm just hoping it doesn't crash. I've just been so focused on class. I really, I'm not, I've never been good on online classes and because of the, everything that's going on right now, everything's online. So I'm just hoping, just really try not to mess these up. The more I do on class, in theory, it's like get a better job. Not that there's anything wrong with my job now, but. Total Amroth expands, nice. Oh, wow. I'm gonna, I think at the end of this video, I'll do a, Map reveal. My see what everybody's doing. That's a cool looking model right there. I mean, that's not what it looks like, but that's a cool model. Without question. Where you reached. I mean, just talk to them here at this fort. Can you get there to talk to them? Just talk to the fort because yes, we can't really go past that anyway. What is it you wish to talk about? I want trade rights, map information, and I want you to pay me money. Like right now, you give me all your cash. They're well off. Maybe they'll give me 2k for this. No. Ah. Another proposition for us, I. Eh? Oops, nope. Trader eyes. Information. They might they might not accept this. I'm gonna try anyway. The yeah, we'll have to try next hard. turn. Aye, farewell. Oh the mechanics of medieval 2, you never cease to amaze me. We are actually losing, or we're gaining money, just not a lot. Orders. Get these guys out. Your will, my lord. Orders. Yes. Get these guys will reinforce yes, when uh, Herrick leaves Your the army. Let's build a watchtower. Because they're tower cheap as hell. Be this isn't anything, is it? No, it's just nothing. Yes, my lord. No, I don't want to try to say that, but that place is up for grabs, yeah. Your orders, my lord. Yeah, let's move this guy down. Yes. I think I'm gonna Making switch this guy out here. for uh Yes, my lord. Herrick. Your I think we'll leave Herrick up lord. here. Around these areas. And then Tremac will leave down below to fight Dunlin and all of them. Eventually we we'll probably will bring them up. Lord. Okay. Actually, maybe go to that fort to for that turn and save money. Later. You can't My get Lord. in there, can you? Yeah, no, just go to that fort that turn and save here. money, because you can probably Marched get in there the next turn after. I'm at... Well, really, it's just a bunch of end turns. That's really all it is. To build, what, a practice range or something here? We have one. We just need more free upkeep units. I don't remember. Let's look just for future references. How much does Rhodes give me? Not a whole much. What if we build them here? Not a big jump. There's not a whole lot of trade that goes through this area, so I guess it's not that surprising. Hopefully the garrison in that town up there is small enough where we can just auto-resolve it. Because sometimes battles are really derp out my game. Hopefully next time I'll... Not by next episode, hopefully I will have addressed all these crashes I've been getting. So hopefully I don't get one this time, fingers crossed. Though now that I said that, I probably will. Hopefully if it does crash, hopefully it doesn't corrupt the file. Cord was uh, Imperator Rome. Probably look at the achievements and see which achievements I could do on that, or I could just upload some for fun. But achievement runs on Paradox games are pretty fun. 
Madras besieged. Ooh, that's interesting. Dorinian is oh wow, resplendent. Yeah, I'm definitely looking at a map after this video is over. Sit there. Next turn, they can make it in the thing. Finding information. Goblins of Moria are at war with the Vandal Vale. Kingdom of Dale is at war with Gold Door. That's nothing surprising yes, in there. Your orders, my lord. I really love the music for Ned Wythe. It's really good. This tower will keep vigil okay. over the land. So the city's probably right around yes, there somewhere. Yes. There it is. There it goes. We could probably just auto or siege that down. Honestly, these two could just take them on together. <laughs> to be honest with you, we could save these men and just go in with these guys. Yes, my lord. Orders. Now nah, let's just go with the whole army. Your orders, my lord. We shall engage. We shall prevail. Let's seize them down, yes. see if they come out against us. They probably will. Those mercenaries are pretty good. Did I get some of those? I thought I trained some of those. Maybe I didn't. I can't afford them anyway, so I don't know why I would. I'd have to throw them in a fort. Speaking of throwing them in a fort, let's put these guys in a fort because they're expensive. And these guys as well in this fort down here because they're expensive as well. Oh, you guys can say that. I just want to have some protection if Dunlink come rushing out of the fog of war to come besiege my city. cities. Right, Baragos controls all of this. I don't know what's over here. I don't want to go too far this area because I know Dunlin's going to be there and they're probably going to be fighting Bree. Um, I'd rather fight Dunlin than Bree and I'd rather fight Dunlin alone than Bree and Dunlin together. So. But it all depends on what Isengard decides to do. Completely just blitzkrieg me. Now, honestly, it depends on a lot of things. It depends on how they deal with Rohan and how they deal with Gondor. Because sometimes they go to war with Gondor as well. There. To their south. Check the time real quick. Okay, good. About halfway through the video. I'm trying to make try to keep on 30 minutes. I don't like when they go up to 40 because I feel like that's just too long. 30 minutes is like the ideal time, in my opinion. Okay, the one ring has been located. That's really far away. Not really. It's actually oh that is really far away. Wait, why is it? What? We were up there and then Okay, well, I'm not sure what just happened. That was weird. Okay. Yes, my lord. Uh, got a tower there. Put a tower like over here or something. With honor. That's a good spot this for a tower. tower will keep vigil yeah. over the land. I kind of want to put one up in that corner too, yes. just so we can keep an eye on whatever the hell's going on over there. Tomorrow. He's useless right now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Maybe should have put a tower here. Whatever. Orders, Honestly, these I might just leave these guys here because they're just getting free upkeep and they can jump on Saduri if they have to. There's no point jumping them in there if they're not getting free upkeep right now. And that army's got to come back this way. Yeah, let's just leave them in there for now. Can I build anything here? I don't think I can build anything anywhere with just 600 gold. Some leather tanner. I mean, maybe that's worth it. Let's do it. Might as well commit our gold to something. Your orders, right, my let's lord. see if they come out against us. They may, they may not. I'm not sure. Awesome. We just put two more units in forts. That's free upkeep for days. Honestly, as cheap as your units are, I'm surprised there's so many forts around this area. But I guess maybe it's for... If the player is Isengard and they come up this way, I'm not sure. Like nine times out of ten, they'll just ignore them. But that's how the AI works in this game. Can't complain. Remnants of Angma. Right, coming up on our turn soon. Here we go. Ah! 
they did come out against me. I really did not expect, I expected him to not do that. Oh, what we got? Hunters. The guildsmen are the, probably the reason they're jumping out. Woodsmen can be easily outflanked and destroyed. Probably by the axemen. They don't have armor piercing, do they? I don't remember. I can't look at my army. What's he got actually for his traits? I don't even look at these. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. He's a. Uh... <laughs> oh, wow. All right, Let's, we could just auto resolve this. I kind of want to try it, but at the same time, Attack! I want to battle this episode. I don't like it when episodes don't have battles in them. Coming up in about seven. I'll be 25, I'm getting old. I think I was 19 when I started this channel. Oh, there's, they're coming out really fast, okay. Spacebar is not pause in Total War games. Raiders. He is a yeah, he's a javelin. I don't move out take his hill, but I think they're gonna beat me to the hill. So all the light units I think you guys here. I want you guys to flank around on either side. The other one's you here. Yeah. You guys to flank around this way. Hit those guys. You guys as well. Right there. And archers. I want you guys to do the same thing. But on this side. Of course I want everybody to run. I'm just gonna put in select run now. Okay. Loot keepers. These guys are really good. Guys, push up the middle, up this way. Axemen, I want you guys to also push up the middle. Should be able to easily destroy them with what we have here. Just a good front of Axemen. Let's see if I can use a space bar again. This is really derpy. I don't like the way how derpy this is. But it's a little bit of an older game, so can't really complain that much. You come up through the middle as well. I don't want you to get too involved. I don't want to risk you dying. Even though you're just fighting literal trash. Garbage. You come up this way. Okay. Now we can unpause. You are running. You're not running. Everybody needs to run. That's why I selected this. I'm sure there's an overall command for that, but whatever. Raiders. Raiders. Uh, you guys need to actually move up a little bit more. Right here, and then the Raiders can go and plug raiders. that gap right there. We stand ready. Swordsmen can attack the Woodsmen. Hunters. Shoot them. Raiders can just go right here. Um, okay. Get them. Let's go outflank these guys. You can actually get behind. You can get behind them, that'd be great, but I don't think you can exactly. He needs to fight the Elder Guildsmen. That's what he needs to fight. The keepers can get the Elder Guildsmen. You can just go this way. Actually, just go right here. Actually. This way. For ended wife. I'm not worried about friendly fire all that much. You guys can. I actually need you guys to come this way. If you can do that for me, that'd be awesome. Are these guys even. Did I charge them? I didn't charge them, I don't think. Maybe I caught. I caught something. They're routing already. What up the middle? Kill them, please. Actually, hit them in the back for me. That'd be great if you could do that. Need to run. Only half the enemy force remains. Hit them for me. As soon as we route these guys, it should be over. They should route pretty soon. These guys in the middle all routed. 
I, I lose audio personally, but I don't think it loses it in the game. I'm not sure. It just only happens in battles, so I'm not really exactly sure why it does that. But whatever. We should go take the square with these moot keepers. Oh, well, they're... Come on. Okay, good. The AI is derpy and they got stuck. Very good. The raiders can just go up on this part here. There, it's a weak unit. I'm not worried about all this. Audio is back for me. So we lost a little bit here, but these are, these are bad units, so. Are oh, they still fighting someone? I don't see anyone here. Just a routing unit somewhere. With the swords. Go on the square. Just go for the square. You guys need to get over here. That'd be great. Because this is really dumb. Captain is dead. I don't know who they're fighting over here. Okay, he died. Cool. And it's over. Okay, we lost 138. That's more than I thought we'd lose, actually. But overall, not bad. Sorry. All right. Occupy. And it's over. I still don't have audio. That sucks. Oh, it's supposed to send her against an emissary to cause a doom. That doesn't matter. I want... Oh, I don't want to offer money. I want you to pay me. Give me 59 or Dwarves are greedy, so they might not accept this, but... And they get it. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, let's go talk to the goblins, because I think we already talked to the elves here. I think we actually just went straight across. Maybe did we talk to the elves already? We must have. We did. Yes, we did. Okay, let's go up north. Talk to the goblins if we can. All right. Uh. Again, I don't know what happened to my audio. I assume it's okay for you guys because it was okay for. So it was it was okay last I checked last video, but this video is just completely cut out, <laughs> completely gone, and I have done nothing. So. Uh, let's see. Though. Of course, we're going to be upset. What if we move this guy in? What about you? Okay, cool. They're fine. Yep, let's go back this way. Build a watchtower on our way back. Build a watchtower here. Maybe I should have left him here. Nah, we'll, we'll, I will spread them out, but I will put them probably closer to the front line where the fight's going to be. Let's just use this guy for fort. So he'll be on our fort duty. He doesn't do that much for Dol Vorn. Dol Vorn can't really get much anything anyway. You can get an armory, but that's not exactly useful. Increases for buildings. What does this give me? Income. Roads. Increase of like 10. Not worth it. Of course, doesn't give me any money. Chicken farming gives me another 40. And it improves the growth. How much do I need for a town? Uh, we might be able to get there. Population growth is just so small sometimes. Let's actually build a fishery. That'll give us the most amount of cash. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. 
Have we a fishery anywhere else? Here, maybe? Yeah, fisheries are totally worth it. 100%. Carpenter's hut here. It's all of our money spent. True max right there. I think after this episode, I'm going to stop using Bandicam because I think that I, I have a sneaking suspicion that that's the problem for all of these like audio problems and stuff I keep having. I'm going to end one more turn and then uh, hopefully you guys can hear me and then hopefully yep. and see what's going on on the rest of the world. I think even though I can't hear, and even though maybe you guys can't hear anything, then uh, the input should be fine. Maybe it's just the output, I think, has the problem. As soon as this turn ends... Kind of a shorter one, but... Right it's fine with me. There was a battle. Candidate for adoption. We are tectonic, so we need to take as many as we can get. Care Andros has fallen. Oh no. Some emissary to the goblins of Moria. I will do that right now. Here he is. Goblins should be right up here. Unless they have a rogue army around right here somewhere. Normally they do. That's the dwarves again. The dwarves are going to go kill the goblins. Okay. Watchtower. Build all the watchtowers. Come back this way. Put me a tower down on your way by. And go to this fort, pick up those units, and we'll decide on what we're going to do with Lawn Dare. So I think we could train enough to take it on now. Yeah, we can get more moot keepers. I could just save this gold for units. All right, I think that'll be where I end this part. I think I'm going to go ahead and talk a fog of war and see what's going on with the rest of the map. Okay. Ah. So, Dol Amroth has taken all of this. Nice. They're probably going to soon... Oh, that's a pretty big army. They're probably going to soon come into conflict with Harad if they're not already... I mean, they're already... I think they start at war with them. But they're going to... Par problems with Harad and the Variags. Um, Gondor's having its usual troubles with Mordor. Mordor's sending out a huge stack. Run is also getting pretty big. The Dorwinian are expanding quite well. Run are getting pretty big there. Like they're sending out some decent sized stacks to go take these rebel servants. I'm sorry they haven't taken this yet. But uh, I'm sure they'll take that in time. Unless, oh, it looks like Dwarmoth. Uh, uh, Dorinian's actually going to go take that. Interesting. Looks here. Anduin Vale is struggling a bit against Dolgador. Dolgador has not taken this back yet. But they definitely have the means to do so, so I don't know what they're doing standing there on the border like that. The dwarves kind of have their capital undefended against these uh, goblins. They don't have, I mean, they have, they don't have any other town. You can't go to Zagkala anymore. That's not a path you can take through the mountain. Uh, I'm not really sure what their plan is, unless they're going up to Goblin Town, which they might be. Ah, they split this. Okay. This was different the last time I played. Yeah, so they could just go up. I guess they're aiming for Goblin Town. I'm not sure what their plan is here with this army. There's the High Elves over here in Mladris. They can easily defeat that Goblin army no matter how many men are in the unit. Uh, oh my gosh. Angmar is just descending upon... The Dunedain with these small stacks, but I'm sure they have a big stack somewhere. They're building up their fords and Barcheg. It's just the stupidest name I've ever heard in my life. Uh, 
that's really kind of it. There's not really else much interesting going on. Dale is just kind of being Dale. Got to start with a broken economy. They took Bergram. Normally the dwarves take that and it makes it like this awful looking like Borgor up here with like, I don't know, it just always looked weird to me. I think that's it. Um, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Let me know if you have any thoughts about the video. Leave a subscribe if you think you want to see more of this because I do upload this every week. I try to do it twice a week, but with class and my me trying to focus on that, I can't promise that, but I try to get it out as much as I can. Next episode should be up on Friday. This is going up as soon as I upload it. So I'll see you guys next time.